Y'all probably wondering what happened to the eyes. I just decided to skip around, so. Um, What you could come up with. Okay. Let me see. Let me see if I can find something. I, I got you, uh, Jamie. I heard you. See your your uh, your request there. <laughs> you know, we'll come back and just do something like this. Boom. Okay. autism models people that have, have been diagnosed with autism so they have sometimes they have um, very specific features so um let me see here I, I think what I would do with this let me see um, I guess we can go with our hair shape first I guess I might do this here. Let me see. Draw the features of the eyes. You know what I would do? Don't worry about that. I know y'all saying, what the heck is that, Rouser? Don't worry, I got it. 
I'm drawing where there is no feature first. Let's put it like that. Okay. All right. So that's how I draw his features. So I'm going to experiment with drawing the lids of the eyes first. Seems like I'm getting some pretty good accuracy out of that. So I'm going to have to try today. Yeah. Yeah, that one, that one, that one came out pretty, um, Pretty, uh, go ahead and just add a little bit of this later on in there, like that. And then we'll come back with this one right here. So that one came out pretty good right there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, thanks, Tammy. Appreciate you now. <laughs> All right, I did that one there for Demons. But since we got some models here, we can just use these models, different models. Let's go with uh, the, the shape we're we looking at here. Let's look at uh, this. U shape maybe, and then uh, so we got a U, and then we something like this. I don't know, something like that. Let me see. Now, I notice that her features are very far apart from each other. Here, I'll just draw my... Eyelids here. Okay. Then I'll come over here. 
hit my nose shape up. Just make it kind of round right in there. And then we just come like this here. Now I'll come over here. I don't know, something like that. Oh, number five. Let me see here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right. I'll try number five for you next, Jamie. Number Which is real simple. I don't like to do a lot of a lot of exaggerations in the pictures. I just like to kind of go with it. Um, those are really good likeness to her eyes right there. So I was able to get a really good likeness with this whatever the heck I just started doing today. It just really changed the likeness of my pictures. So, yeah, thank God for that, man. That's awesome. It's always good when you can learn something new, right? The Rouser just learned something new today, huh? <laughs> yeah. That's what I like about practice. Practice makes you unlock new stuff, you know what I'm saying? It's like a video game, you know? You practice enough with it, right? You unlock new things, right? I'm just going to use this gray and kind of just... You know, fill it in just a little bit, but uh, really good likeness right there. Hey, and that's her right there, huh? Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Tammy. I appreciate you now. All right, let's go to number five. So that, I believe number five is going to be E right here. Okay, by the way, guys, I forgot to... Let's go to number five. All right, so we're number five. I'm gonna change it up. I'm gonna go with the inside shape first. So I'm gonna go here, like that, right? Okay, and we're gonna come to the eye shape right here. So watch this, we'll come here. And then we're gonna come here. Okay, see how I drew the eyelids first? The lids of the eyes, right? In here, I come back with my nose shape and mouth shape, and little teeth like that, right? Okay, and we'll come here. Got a little bit of roundness there. He got a real round face, so we want to make sure we maintain that roundness. Just like that, right? OK. 
Okay. And then look. We wanna. Keep the roundness. Just like that, right? Kids don't have shoulders, so <laughs> they can't do like this. <laughs> I don't know. Watch this now. We'll just come here and do this right here. Now I could have what what I could have did I could have moved this up closer, but that's still a crazy good lightness of it though. So I think we can we can accept that. Right. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> okay. Um So that right there was uh Okay. And uh let me see what time we got here. It's 119, it's one for day. Okay guys, so uh we're gonna go ahead guys and we're gonna start getting ready uh to get into our word of the day. Okay, so um we did quite a few caricatures already. We did, man, we did a lot of caricatures today. And uh, what I did learn today was about, if you look here, you can see that spacing in between the eyes. I actually just put up a video about that. So you guys might want to go back and check that last video out about drawing your eye shapes and, you know, how you can get those likenesses down. Um, once again, guys, drawing that, uh, I I'm seeing here that drawing that, that lid first is awesome now this guy right here is crazy because he really doesn't have a lid shape so just out of curiosity what would i do in that situation i can still draw his eyes i'm not gonna draw his whole thing but so look at his eyes not having that lid so what would i do there hmm maybe i would just do like this then in that situation just leave it right just and then go to the next thing 
and then once I'm ready to once I'm ready to come back, well, his lid shape is like this. It's kind of like this. Yeah, you know I'm saying. And then then it's then it's like this, and then like that. He has like a, you know what I'm saying. And then here would be his. Yeah. Okay, okay. Hmm. So today we learn lids first. <laughs> hey guys, I hope that you enjoyed that video tutorial. If you did, don't hesitate guys to go ahead and give us a like. Also, guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the notifications button. This way, when we put up new material, you'll be the first to know. If you have any questions about our markers or pens or paper, and you'd like to know where I get some of the materials that I use here on my art stream, there's a link in the description below, so you can go ahead and check that out as well. And also, guys, we'd like to welcome your questions and comments so that we can get some new ideas. You know, it's always good to have new, fresh ideas for our next and upcoming videos. Oh, and don't forget to check out these two super cool videos right here. So guys, thanks again for your love and support of our channel. You guys be safe out there. And as always, guys, I wish you happy cartooning.